more technical difficulties. When we started this thing out, there was a, uh, a term put out there on the table called the Robin style of banjo playing. And uh, I'm a little bit self-conscious about that. I mean, I, I just play the banjo, so that's all it means to me. But in thinking about that a little bit to pass along to you, what I've tried to do in my career was learn to play a tune so you could tell what it is. And the farther that I've gotten along in life and music and everything, I like for there to be order. Uh, when I did my series of Radford University videos, um, I started talking about that art is that of human creation which stimulates the human intellect. And one of the qualities of art is that it creates order out of chaos. And I found out that with my early explorations into jazz music and jam band music, um, that was something that I had to learn to experience and is all part of me, I'm sure. But to me, that type of playing now is the opposite. It's it's designed to create chaos out of order. It's designed to take a melody and see how many thousand different ways you can play it or a phrase or something like that. So to explain where this Robin style has evolved to, uh, the easiest way for me to do that would be to revisit one of the tunes that we've already done in a tune called Cripple Creek. And if I were going to play Cripple Creek in what's perceived as a scrug style out there, I would be taking the very basis of the tunes. And that would lend itself very easily to the, a straight or what most folks call Sonny Osborne, one of them out there, called straight banjo playing. If I were going to get into a more melodic version of that, as it were, I would start dissecting the tune, and this isn't just a tune, this is a song that's out there. Going up Cripple Creek, going in a run, everybody's heard that old thing. If I were going to play Cripple Creek and play it melodically, I would play every syllable of every word in the lyrics to that. So it would be going up Cripple Creek, going in a run, going up Cripple Creek to have a little fun. And that would translate more easily into the second way that I played that tune. explain the style that I play and looking at it and looking at songs and tunes a tune is simply a melody a song is a melody that's had lyrics applied to it poetry applied to it so anytime that I'm playing something and you can find this on my grounded centered focused album I played an old tune on there called shortening bread that Dudley Connell sung so my tune for today for you is going to be Shortening Bread, and I hope that somewhere along the line this is sort of explained 
a little bit about what that Robin style is all about, is trying to play a piece of music so you can understand what it is. I'm, <laughs> I'm too old to try to impress you. If I haven't done it in my last 50 years of playing, I'm not going to be doing it. But I would like to convey to you what a melody is all about and how to play that so it flows, the way Clarence White did on a guitar. I had an opportunity one time to uh, uh, put together a series of recordings for on Clarence White of 160 or 180 reel-to-reel -reel tapes that Ken Irwin got me to listen to to put together. And the guy played so wonderfully, <laughs> it wasn't licks. It was like he would take one note and bend it all the way through the tune to where it was the entire tune. He was a, a, one of the fabulous players and thank goodness David Greer came along to expand on that style of playing. But anyhow, here's a tune that Dudley Connell did that where I tried to, to play the melody of the tune and Dudley did a great job with singing the lyrics. It's called Shortening Bread. All right, here we go. Bye. 